Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to go over using a pedaler or the little bike pedal machine after knee replacement surgery. What are some of the benefits of it and what are some different things you can do with this piece of equipment. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos related to knee replacement surgery. So real quick, this is a simple piece of equipment. You can find it online if you just search pedaler or bike pedaler and you most likely it'll pop up in those first couple of searches and it's maybe 20, 30 bucks to purchase one of these online and have it for after your knee replacement surgery or before knee replacement surgery as well. And as you can see, it's a real simple device. It has two simple pedals to pedal your feet back and forth. It has the support, the base, and there's also a little knob or a screw here on the middle where you can change the resistance a little bit. So you can loosen up the resistance or you can make it a tad bit tighter if you want to as well. Now, some tips for using this device. So one, you wanna be in a supportive chair. Um, sometimes I recommend folks, if you're having some issues with your feet moving around or the machines moving around, if you, um, you know, maybe be on, are on a slippier surface, back up your chair against the wall so that it won't slide or move on you as much. Um, back it up against the wall or a larger piece of a furniture such as like a couch or a table so that the chair won't move when you're doing the pedaler. And you can also put the pedaler up against a wall as well. The front part of it can be put um, snug up against the wall so that won't move on you as well. So finding a good spot where you can use the machine without yourself moving or the machine, um, the piece of equipment moving as well. So most of these pedalers will come with straps. You can use the straps, but feel free if your shoes are a little too big or your feet are a little too big and it's not comfortable to get them in there, to just use the other side without the strap. It will work just as well, and usually you can do a pretty good job of keeping your foot on that pedal as you do it. Some other things to keep in mind are that you can adjust your foot position on these pedals. So these are kind of very small, narrow pedals. So, you know, depending on your setup, and if you're trying to get maybe a little bit more um, bending of your knee as you do it, or you just want to get a more comfortable position, you can have kind of your toes or the balls of your feet on the pedals, or you can scoot your foot forward and kind of get the mid part of your foot, or even if you're on the back, you can do it with your heels. And that will really start to um, focus on trying to get more and more bending of the knee as you do it. Some benefits of this machine are blood flow, um, a great warm-up machine thing to do um, as a warm-up, a good option as a cool-down, especially if you are doing your exercises and activity at home, which of course you should be. Um, you know, instead of having to go out and buy a recumbent bike or some big piece of equipment, you can use this simple tool as a little bit of a warm-up device. Also, good for range of motion, getting that early flexion and bending and a little bit of straightening of the knee. And it's just something easy to do throughout your day. So maybe you don't want to go through a whole, you know, all your therapy exercises at the moment, um, but you know that you tend to stiffen up throughout the day. Um, so having this device either at home or even bringing it in and sticking it under your desk at work and just doing it for maybe five, ten minutes at a time and just keeping those knees, um, you know, kind of limber, keeping some fluid and blood flow through the joints, helping prevent some stiffness throughout your day. So really good tool, really good option to use, um, pretty affordable. and. I like it and there's actually some research that's come out recently that shows that um, individuals who use this piece of equipment in conjunction with the rest of their rehab and recovery tend to see some early improvements and a little bit faster recovery. So definitely some good efficacy um, and potential benefits out there and a nice affordable piece of equipment as well. Again, probably 
you know, maybe 20, 30 bucks to order one online. So I hope you found this video helpful, gave you some good tips and advice for using this piece of equipment and why we might want to use it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button again if you don't already. Please be sure to leave a like to help spread this video. And as always, please be sure to leave your comments, your questions below as I do my best to get back to everybody I see. Thank you very much for watching.